In this chapter, we'll begin configuring the Office 365 directory sync within your JumpCloud organization. To configure the JumpCloud Office 365 directory sync, go ahead and log into your JumpCloud administrator account and navigate to the directories menu on the left-hand side. In the directories pane, you'll want to hit the green plus button at the top left and select Office 365. A slide-out pane will appear from the right-hand side, allowing you to begin configuring the Office 365 directory sync. Click the Authorize Office 365 Sync button in the right-hand pane to begin. This will open a new tab within your browser, navigating you to an Office 365 login. Here, you'll want to use your Office 365's Tenant Global Admin account and password. You'll then receive a statement that JumpCloud is requesting permissions to access Office 365. Go ahead and hit the Allow button at the bottom. This will then navigate you to the JumpCloud Office 365 directory sync page, which lists all of your current users within your Office 365 tenant. This new browser tab will appear at any time you first configure the directory sync, as well as during reactivation of the directory sync. That's it! You've just configured the JumpCloud Office 365 directory sync within JumpCloud. Please continue to the next chapter which covers importing users from Office 365 into JumpCloud. In this chapter, we'll begin importing users from Office 365 into JumpCloud using your freshly configured Office 365 directory sync. To begin importing users from Office 365 into JumpCloud, log into your JumpCloud administrator account and navigate to the directories menu on the left-hand side. Select the Office 365 directory sync from the right-hand side. To begin importing Office 365 users into JumpCloud, click on the Import Office 365 Users button. A new tab will appear listing all of your current users within your company's Office 365 tenant. Check the checkboxes next to the names of the users that you'd like to import. You can choose to import singular or multiple users at once. In our example, I will import a singular user, Bob Fay, by checking the checkbox next to his name. Scroll down to the bottom of the list and hit the Import Users button at the bottom right. You'll then see a pop-up showing the importation of the users has been successful. Click on the Close button in the pop-up to be brought back to the directories listing within your JumpCloud admin portal. Towards the bottom of the pane, you can also select attributes to automatically sync to Office 365 from JumpCloud, such as employee work or personal information. Navigate to the Users menu on the left-hand side. You should now see the newly imported users in your user list within JumpCloud in an orange pending activation state. There are three states within JumpCloud. Green meaning that the account is fully active and a secure password has been set. Orange meaning that the password has not been activated and we're waiting on the activation to complete. Red meaning that the account is either locked out or the password is expired. Let's take a look at Bob Fay's user account that I just imported in a jump cloud. With the Office 365 directory sync, we import three fields from the account, first name, last name, and email address. The username and display name are created during the Office 365 directory sync and import of the user account. The display name is a concatenation of first and last names and the username is pulled from the prefix of the email address. Ensure that the JumpCloud username is using the nomenclature that you'd like to use within your company. This will come into play when you are binding users to systems covered in another tutorial module. To begin the activation process for this user account imported from Office 365, we'll want to go to the Directories tab within the User Configuration pane and check the checkbox next to the Office 365 directory sync. This will send a welcome email to the user's Office 365 email account asking for a password reset, thus activating their account. We'll cover what this looks like from a user's perspective in the next chapter. In this chapter, we'll take a look through the eyes of one of our newly imported users, Bob Fay, and go through the activation steps. Logging into Bob's Office 365 account and accessing his Outlook, we'll see that there's a welcome email that has just arrived from JumpCloud. Opening this email, Bob is greeted to JumpCloud and notified that his Office 365 admin has configured him a JumpCloud account and this requires a password reset. In order for him to get started, he must hit the Get Started button below. Additionally, towards the bottom of the email is more information on JumpCloud and how this JumpCloud Office 365 sync works. Clicking on the Get Started button will open up a new tab to console.jumpcloud.com asking the user to reset their password. They must set a password that meets the complexity you've set for the JumpCloud organization. If they do not, they'll be prompted to create a better password meeting the requirements you've set within the JumpCloud org. Once a secure password has been set, this password activates the JumpCloud account, is pushed down to his Office 365 account, as well as navigating him to the JumpCloud user login page where he can then log into his JumpCloud account to access any of the SSO applications he may have access to. In the user portal here, he'll also have access to reset his user password for his JumpCloud account, which in turn will change the password for Office 365. Taking a look back at his Outlook tab, if we log back out and log back in, we'll have to use a new password that he just set up for JumpCloud. That's it. Bob's account is now fully active and has changed from an orange pending activation state to a fully green active account within JumpCloud. In our next chapter, we'll cover how to create user accounts within JumpCloud and have the new user be provisioned within Office 365 via the JumpCloud Office 365 directory sync.
In this chapter, we'll cover how to create a new JumpCloud user and then provision it within our connected Office 365 tenant leveraging the Office 365 directory sync. To get started, ensure that you're logged into your JumpCloud administrator account and navigate to the users menu on the left hand side. We're going to go ahead and create a new user, Victor Fay. To create a new user, hit the green plus button in the top left. A new user configuration pane will slide out from the right hand side. Go ahead and configure the user's information in the details tab. Now that we've filled out the desired user's details, we'll then want to navigate to the Directories tab and then check the Office 365 Directory Sync checkbox and hit Save. Another method for adding this new user to Office 365 is to add the user to a user group which is bound to Office 365. This way, any user bound to said user group will be syncing with the Office 365 Directory Sync. Within 60 seconds, this new JumpCloud user will also be provisioned as a new unlicensed account within Office 365. That's it. Thanks again for watching this tutorial over JumpCloud's Office 365 Directory Sync.